What is up, everybody? Welcome to Test Drive. Get all this set up real quick. Sweet. There we go. <laughs> the channels are going up so fast these days. <laughs> Why was there no stream yesterday? I had a meeting to go to Phoenix. I'm sorry about that. All right, guys, let's get right into it. Uh, so if you guys want to check out the full deck list of this deck, uh, the link is in the description, so you can check that, check that out. Uh, I want to see how much it's going for right now on MTGO Traders. It's going for about right under 100, so fairly budget, not too terrible. I want to say Vaughn is probably the main reason it's like that. Also, Fata pushes, of course. <laughs> What's up, Paul? A couple mono black discard decks floating around. Nice. I'm definitely going to be looking at the uh, fan decks tomorrow or after the stream today, guys. So if you guys have a fan deck to submit, make sure to send it to Super Hinotama, my name up there, at Gmail. Uh, and I'll look them over today. And then I'll pick one. And then we'll do it live tomorrow on the stream. So, but today, let's just get right into it. Let me pick vampires and go on. Do do. There we go. Sweet. To the magic hats from Teradog. Look, let's hope that yeah, have some pretty good luck today. I like this hand a lot. It's very aggressive. I feel like keeping. And magic chair makes a playlist with two Fox Notorious Big and Snoop Dogg. Uh, I mean, I, I no, I couldn't do that. <laughs> Basically, because of copyright stuff. But um, I mean, that would be cool. Oh my gosh. Top a deck, a Fatal Push, not bad. Let's get out a Swamp first and pass turn. Opponent is playing Mountain, so we might be seeing a round of Red build or something like that. There's four Adento Vanguard in the deck, as well as four Get to Daetherborn. So both of these cards are really great for us. Key to the City coming out. Our turn. Let's get out a uh, Territory. I like Vampire. And uh, let's play out the Vanguard first to try and uh, get around any kind of removal. I don't mind paying for life because this deck gains us a ton of life. So, What about Singer Vampire? It's one of the pre-made decks when you search what's legal in there. I don't remember that card. It was in, a, in the uh, Planeswalker decks. Oh, it's fun. It's it was definitely a, a, a classic vampire there, but I think it's a little too high on the curve for what we're trying to do. We're trying to be very like kind of tempo based with aggro, so I'm getting in as many creatures as we possibly can, making them lose life as quickly as possible. But a four four flyer for five isn't bad. I just think things like Sanctum Seeker is a little bit better for the situation we're doing. But I do think that card's great. Terry, any chance of making mono green or rich card panharmonicon? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe. That sounds like a ton of fun, though. Let's see. Cut. Yeah, we're going to pay four life and make him indestructible. Even though we're losing life here, he does. What? Why? What just happened? I'm confused. Oh, because Soul Scar Mage gives negative one, negative one counters. Sorry. That was my bad. I just realized what happened. That was a punt on my part. We've got a Fatal Push coming in for the Soul Scar here. And then we'll get out an Aether, Gift of Aether Born. It took me a second. I was like, uh, oh, yeah. Sorry. Let's get a black mana here. Play Gifted and pass. Have you tried out green white dinos at all? No, but I have a green red dinos list coming out soon, so that this is going to be that's a ton of fun. But a green white, I'm not sure. But definitely want to see more pieces of it. Let's get out an unclaimed territory here, play vampire, and then just get out a vanguard. I think that's fair. And then we're just going to tech out for uh, two. I like list. Thought it was interesting to see it standard legal. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I think that card's really cool. I just uh, 
I didn't one, I didn't know it was in standard, and two, I don't think it actually would make a good fit in this deck. Maybe in the sideboard because it's a flyer. What's up, Anthony? Unlicensed integration, no problem. We're on the back foot here, thanks to the uh, punt I did, like at the beginning of the game. Imagine Darren Ball, that would be crazy. No, please don't. And hit six, let him do his thing. Actually, hit five and see what happens. He's got one card in hand. He's going to pay two for a key to the city to draw an extra card. So three cards in hand this turn. Two mana. If he tries to kill Adanto Vanguard, I'll probably pay the life because we have Sanctum Seeker in our hand. Planeswalker deck has a place of two mana, two, two, dino with Vigilance. Ooh. Nice, Sue. Really like the vamps that came out. Good luck today. Appreciate it, Clint. Anointed Procession deck looks sweet also. Yeah, I definitely want to build another uh, vampire deck that's not really necessary, like, focus on tribal vampires, but more like um, just token-based strategy. Let's see. Let's get out a unclaimed territory. I like getting out a Sanctum Seeker. This might die to an unlicensed disintegration this turn. Let's do this. Send a place in Trillagan's turn today. <laughs> have a machete. <laughs> oh, you're fine. All right, let's see. Let's get out for a three here. We're going to gain also get out for four technically, and we're going to gain one life to that. Let's see if our opponent wants to have all this happen. I assumed so. Two cards in hand for our opponent. Play with token-based vamps. Pretty efficient. Nice. Is it as efficient as cats? <laughs> That's what I want to know. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, I definitely want to build that deck. I've been testing uh, Mono Blue Mill for the past, like, day or two. I'm trying to get that to work. And uh, so far, I like it a lot. I guess the only problem I have with Mono Mill or Mono Blue Mill is that... Uh, there are so many aggressive strategies right now in standard that it's hard to get under them. So, lots of bounce cards. Perilous Voyage I used instead of Unsummon, but I'll have the list definitely out uh, soon for you guys. Forgot, do you have Vanquisher's Banner in the sack? I do not, no. That's one of those cur top top end curve cards that uh, like I just kind of cut for this deck. I definitely want to use it for something in the future, though. Modern Deck Giveaway, who did who did win that? Uh, the last day to enter that is actually uh, tomorrow, Magic. Here's a cut. He's full of removal. Let's see if he wants to uh, do something else. Crasher. Darren, do you, Darren, do you think the... A, Black green deck with Yehini and Rishkar can stand in standard. Uh, I'm not sure about Yehini, but I mean, the black green constrictor decks are great right now. And Rishkar is usually in that build, so. There is enough removal in black, though, to make Yehini pretty devastating. Let's see, let's get out a Conquistador. We're both top decking at this point. Salta Energy is good right now. Dude, any of the energy decks right now are very, very solid. Come on. Black green counters with animation module. Uh, I feel like animation module is a little too inefficient, so I would rather have like a removal spell or another creature in that slot for animation module. If Vanguard had lifelink, it would be so nice. Yeah, I think so too. Would love to top deck a Vana or uh, another large creature, or maybe another Sanctum Seeker. Because we're both in top deck mode. We do have Cut here. Both two ribbons. So he could ribbons me for three, six, nine. If he attack with a non crop crasher next turn. So six. 
Glad I get to catch some of the stream today. What's up? <laughs> Sadly, we can't double. If we double blocked, I would have to give Vedanto Vanguard uh, indestructible. Did my opponent die? What happened? <laughs> Question mark? Okay, there we go. I'm just going to attack out with uh, the Vanguard here. Wouldn't Merfolk be better, but we can't get everything in Magic. <laughs> Maybe when the next set comes out, when Rivals comes out, I think that'll probably fix the problem. I just don't think there are enough Merfolks in Standard to be, like, a top tier. But, I mean, the Simic Merfolk deck is good. Got an itchy nose today. <laughs> okay, one card in hand. <laughs> Straight up attack. Let's see, possible... Yeah, we're blocking here. Do not mind losing a creature to, <clears throat> to save some damage. Passing turn. Push. Well, that would have been good if we didn't get rid of a Conquistador that turn. Taren, would it be it would be nice if someone made a deck full of removal. <laughs> I mean, isn't that the uh, Grixis Amulet deck? I have that list. <clears throat> I definitely want to do a uh, deck deck on it. But my my list turned into a Grixis Amulet slash Revelin Riches deck. So let's see. Two cards in hand. Could have sworn he wanted to uh, discard something with Key to the City, but I guess not. Just getting out for three here. It's going to definitely be what we top deck next. Let's see. Scrounger. Yeah, we'll want to push that. More than likely. But nothing in our deck is more than five mana, so I'm going to keep that up for a main phase push. Zero cards in hand. Strange he didn't discard that mountain. Unclaimed territory. Getting into mana is not good for us here. Let's see. We'll um, push the Scrounger. Hit cancel, actually. Because we can do that on his turn. Because he can't block. Let's get him for three. What's up, trains? Camel travel would be best. <laughs> Where is Lifelink Enchantment from Amon Ket? Um, for me, I didn't think it really needed it because of how much Lifelink we have in the actual deck itself. Uh, although, this matchup right here is being a little difficult for me. Let's see. He takes six, go to two, and then he would ribbons. One, two, three, four. Let's kill the Scrounger here. He can still ribbons me for four, seven, take me down to one. And then his next turn, he would ribbons me for another. What's your favorite tribe through all of MTG? Uh, I don't know. I think through whenever Innistrad hit, vampires became my favorite tribe. But I think before that, maybe just like artifacts in general. Yeah, there's a strike and then a ribbons. Yeah, for two. That's a good old GG. All right. Let's concede here. Go to two sideboard. The lawnmower is back. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Let's see. I like authority here. Let's take out some bindings. And put in some fumigates. Let's see. Different to return is actually okay in this situation. Let's take out one push. And... One blood letter. I think that's okay. Let's 
Let's see. <laughs> uh, bye, Phoenix. See you later. Trying to catch up on the str on the the feed today. What's up, Josh? Play first. Yes, we just lost our first match, so our first game. This is game two of match one. This is a very good hand for us. We're going to keep. Let's play out a uh, swamp. I like Conquistador first, and then pass. What's up, Elliot? Elliot the Entertainer. <laughs> You know that Cartouche in black is getting a lot more play than I thought it would. Uh, for three mana, that, that card I thought was kind of terrible, but it's not doing too bad. Yeah, he's just going to pass here. Let's get out of Swamp. I like uh, a Gifted Aetherborn here. And then just attacking out for uh, two, technically. Because when he gets tapped, he loses one life. Got a computer that randomly has a Windows service continually eating like 6% of CPU. <laughs> nice. Josh, I have a, <clears throat> a weird problem for me. I think it's a motherboard BIOS issue with the USB hubs. Like, my uh, Elgato cam link keeps uh, disconnecting sometimes randomly during uh, OBS stuff. Not sure why. I'm going to have to probably update a driver or something. <laughs> Are they running MTGO? <laughs> Sorry about that random tech talk there. Soulscar Mage, yeah, we're going to push that as soon as possible. Let's see. Passing, okay, our turn. Unclaimed Territory, we're going to name Vampire. Let's push the uh, Mage here and then get out an Aetherborn. Yeah, we definitely have the upper hand this game. Sweltering Suns would be a bad idea for us here, or a bad move, but I'm not sure he would have it in his uh, deck. Let's get out 4-3. Four, 4, actually. <laughs> Two Trials on the sideboard for Hydra matchup. Nice. Trial is actually really good. The Black Trial, I think you're thinking of, right? Trial of Ambition, I believe that's what it's called. Super great at getting around the Hydra. Rampaging Ferocidon. That is an interesting play here. We have Vana. Let's see. I like getting out for everybody. If he blocks the Conquistador, we can kill the Ferocidon. I think that's fair. We definitely want to keep up the... Uh, there we go. Yeah, then we're going to push the Ferocidon. What would be the funniest deck in standard right now? Uh, maybe a Revel and Riches deck, because they're just hilarious. But they are, they're not fun to play against. I'm going to hit... Uh, Six because I can't do anything this turn. Five cards in hand. He's down to nine. We're up to 22 thanks to the lifelink damage we're doing. Skymar Bloodletter will help us out a ton as well. There's Crasher coming in for four this turn. Saving Grace to beat an hour of devastation. He is going to hold up blockers. If near Deadlands, not bad. We're going to play out a Skymar Bloodletter. Do some life point swings. Okay. Let's be aggressive and swing out here. He's going to block with Yonkrop Crasher, but uh, that's totally fine because I would rather him die than it live. Double blocking here. Not a big deal. Maybe he has a shock here for the other uh, gifted Aetherborn. He does not. No problem. Funniest deck in tribal, uh, in standard tribal trilobite. Ooh, build deck might be fun. It actually works. Mine doesn't for now. Uh, so like my my other my first build uh, in Amonkhet was the 
like Simic mill deck, and then it turned into a mono blue mill uh, for this one, just because Perilous Voyage is so good at being able to bounce a card and scry two, so setting up your plays is way more important in uh, this standard than it was before, where you could just kind of like hold out for a little bit longer. So many of the decks right now are just so fast. Let's see, just assuming he's going to pass. Okay. Vicious Conquistador is very good for us. Wish we had one more mana to play out Vana. Vona? Vana? Hmm. Yeah, let's get in for four again. Two in the air, two on the ground. We're at 27 life. Highly doubt he can come back from this. He might have a shock in hand, so keep that in mind. No shock again. He's down to six. And he's going to lose another four thanks to Conquistador. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So this is going much more our direction uh, than it was last game. Last game we kind of just didn't get the plays in order. But he also didn't come out like swinging like he did last game. <laughs> that lawnmower is so loud, guys. It's like right beside me. Right, let's see. He's going to play out a Scrap Heap Scrounger. He can't do anything about that. Dual decks are not standard legal. That's right. The Planeswalker decks are, however. And then the um, new player decks. I can't remember what they're called. Yeah, that's a good old sideboard. I actually like a Blood Letter in here. And then we'll take out a uh, Sanctum Seeker. I think it's a little slow. Yeah, it's Smith. I want to suck your blood. I had a good skit at the beginning of this where I was just going to wear like these sunglasses and be like, oh man, it's it's so like bright outside because I'm a vampire. That was really dorky, but you know, it works, sort of. Just, just let me drink my fresco. If they were, everyone would mill would work, right? A few new cards make it possible, I think, yeah. I'm going to turn down my Mac a little bit. I don't have glitter, just on hand, so that's something I'd have to go to the store and buy. Although I probably am going to go to a costume store later today. I could do that. It's possible. All right, let's see what game three. Little cringe moment. <laughs> White shirt without water? I know, conspiracy broken. Whoa. I'm a human being. I'm not a robot. All right, let's see. We have a fatal push, blood letter. We're on the draw, and we also have key to the city, so I feel like this is a decent hand to keep. Let's keep it and see what happens. Just picked up four Tezzeret. Card is going to be awesome moving forward. Yeah, that card is uh, definitely rising in price. Canyon Slough. So that's good for us. Tara, what do you think the counter to Ramnip Red? Uh, any kind of life gain. <laughs> Basically. That's, uh, that is, you know, pretty much what you can do. We'd, nice to have drawn into a swamp there. We need a white mana for the, from Maverick Fane, though. But any kind of life gain is really uh, the thing that kind of just stumbles. Round up red. I think the Godfrey's gift deck, if it gets off the ground, is definitely a great counter. Let's see. He's just going to pay a land and pass. Play a land and pass. Let's get out a planes here and get out. I like Key to the City first. Metallic Mimic is going to be something that uh, will likely die if I play it first. So we will be a little bit more careful. Although if we play out a blood letter first, he might just kill that instead. A braid, not bad. Okay. I'm gonna try making a torment of hellfire plus fraying sanity discard mill ramp. Hmm, interesting. Let me know how that goes. Let's see. He's gonna get him for three here. We're gonna play out a swamp. I like playing out a Mimic here and then uh, holding up a Fatal Push. We can't stop the uh, Crasher, though. But having a 3 here would be nice. If he decides to kill the Mimic, we can kill the Crasher, no problem. So. Oh, no, am I, am I buffering? Uh... 
Oh no. Am I good now? What happened? Julian first time in life. <laughs> Perfect. Tuesday was so good though. It's so weird. I'm back. Okay. All right, passing turn here. So weird. I, I don't understand how why it's doing that. Like, like it's almost like my entire internet just decides to not work at all. Like it's just like uh, like even my computer is like, oh, you're not connected to the internet anymore. I'm like, what? What just happened? I don't know. I'll probably have to call my ISP again today. Be like, look, guys, why is my connection just deciding to die all the time? Yeah, Elliot's really the one to blame here. Waiting on the opponent. There we go. Do you live in the sticks? I know I live in a town that has like gigabit internet and stuff, so I don't know what's happening. Let's see. I'll allow this to happen. Take three. Okay, main phase two. What do you got? You need to stop the porn download because the stream gets lagged. <laughs> it's not that, I can assure you. Okay, let's get out an If Near Deadlands. We have Walk the Plank, which is quite good for us in this situation. However, I do think a Blood Letter is going to help us out a lot here. So let's get that out first. We could have made the um, Maverin Fane and attacked out with a Mimic here, but I feel like he's going to kill the Mimic before this hits the board, which is what happens. Okay. We're going to kill his uh, Crasher there because of that. And do a one point life swing. Pass turn. Top half magic stream, bottom half. <laughs> oh my gosh. I even like turn off my phone just to make sure it's not pulling internet. So I don't know what's happening. Okay. Just sold my mimics. Got three dollars for thirteen. Unlicensed. Okay. Taking two damage, or is it three damage? I think it's three damage. I don't know why I thought the two. Three damage because of key to the city. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. We can play. Hope if we get into land, we can play. No, we did not get another land, but we can play Maverin Fane and a vicious conquistador. And I think that is just fine. How's Dick doing, Jonathan? We're in match one, game three. So we've won one round against Ramnap Red. Or Rakdos Red, rather. And uh, just seeing how we can do here. We're trying to stabilize. He's got removal out the wazoo. Got the movement place up for cats before rotation. Nice, Joey. Yeah, he's burning through his hand, though. Like, no, like, crazy. So... 
Key to the City is going to help him draw two extra cards this turn, thanks to discarding the mountain. So he's going to try to uh, do that, but it does put him at a disadvantage. So I assume he's going to try and draw a removal spell to kill Maverick Fane here. If he does not, this would be a very good job, or not job, but a very good turn for us next turn. Yeah, there's a cut, killing Maverick Fane. Chandra, $40. Yeah, Chandra's a good card. It's the best one she, that's ever like existed so far. Let's get out a blood letter here. Hold up a walk the plank, that, but sorcery, so we can't do anything about it, which is kind of sad. Yeah, Scarab God went up thanks to last week's uh, tournaments in uh, Star City Games and all that kind of stuff. Scarab God is such an amazing card. Nice. You bought him for less than 10 bucks, Julian? That's crazy. Getting it for two here. All right. Let's see what our opponent can do. He has key to the city as well, so we might want to do this again, try and get into another removal spell. We do have Ifnir Deadlands to kill something, so would like to actually draw Vana, honestly. Or maybe Bishop of the Bloodstained to do some additional damage. We've already got three. Nice. Two cards in hand. Unclaimed territory. We're going to keep that in our hand for now. Just as a bluff. And then uh, attack out for three. It's technically four. See what our opponent wants to do. Maybe want to uh, unlicense its integration to blood letter. Here's a shock. Gotcha. One card in hand. That will likely be discarded to key to the city. Getting in for two this turn, and we'll pass. Scarab God, Scarab God is like $45 on paper right now. Price is high, and I own one. <laughs> Time to sell, sell, sell. Scarab God's really good. Yeah, for four mana to, you know, exile the card and make a 4-4 four -four of that card, it's stupid. Hazaret? Yeah, there's Hazaret. Can't kill it. He has one card in hand, so he's swinging in for five. Let's see. Can we do this as a sorcery? So if near Deadlands can help weaken Hazaret, but cannot kill him. Adonto Vanguard is not bad for us, actually. Let's get out an unclaimed territory here. Let's see. One, two, three, four. like to get out for two this turn. I want to say if near Deadlands is the answer here first. Make him a bit weaker. Selling my two tomorrow. Nice, Anthony. Top deck a lifelinker. We'd like to top deck Vana, actually, because now it's a 3-2. He can't attack, but of course he'll probably play something this turn. He's not going to. Interesting. Okay. I think he might have forgot about that. Ooh, okay. That helps us out a lot. Let's see. Let's get out a Vanguard here. Could never nothing. <laughs> I think just attacking out for two here is is the answer. So weird that he didn't uh, try to just discard something with the key to the city and continue attacking in. Unless he has a removal spell here for the blood letter. Opened a caramel <laughs> free. But I've won this hermit. Nice. Do you have Ixalan's Binding? Uh, it is in the, I believe, the main board of this deck. It's either in the main board or the sideboard. I would definitely look at the deck list real quick. <laughs> Let's do that. I want to say it is. Yeah, it's in the main board. Two in the main board. It caught me off guard there. OK. 
Okay. Scare of God got better. Yeah, God for those gifts. Yep. Here's an abrade coming to this. Do I want to do that? I could pay four life and make him indestructible. It would take me to four, though. He does have a ribbons in his graveyard. Let's not do that because he can ribbons me. Well, let's see. He can't ribbons me this turn. Take me down to four. I could exile it with never if I played that the, fall, the previous turn. Yeah, Vraska's Contempt is what I what I want here, but let's pay for life so he can't attack with me with Hazard this turn. Or so I can block at least. He needs two black mana to do uh, ribbons, and he can't do it this turn, so this could also be a Secondary play, he could also have a lightning strike as well. So if he does that, then we're just kind of screwed and we go to one. But holding up a block at least for this would be nice. Oh, this is our turn. This is the inst inst end phase. I just realized. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> Concede! Uh, I punted twice in that match. What was wrong with me? At the beginning of the match or at the end of the match? Wow. 1-2, though. Speaking of cats, when is 3.0 coming out? Uh, pretty soon, Magic. I'm trying to get the new decks out as soon as I can. This week has been kind of crazy for me, though. Let's see what we can do. Opening hand looks nice. Although four mana is heavy. So you have a removal spell and a conquistor and a mimic. We're also on the draw, so I'll keep. Cascading Cataracts. Very nice. All right, let's get out a uh, swamp here and plant a conquistador. Could have kept a fatal push up there, but. See what we can do. So you start looking at deck submissions after the match today, basically. Yeah, I do that. Anyone has access to MTG Arena Beta yet? Uh, I submitted, but oh no, why? Okay, fine. Let's get another match going. Yeah, submitted for uh, to get into the beta, but uh, I haven't been in it yet. I think it starts next month. I can't remember. Come on! Yes. Be released in November. You're right, Richard. Two lands, Conquistador, a Mimic, and we're not on the draw. This is a kind of worse hand, uh, but we do have unclaimed territory, so getting out the Conquistador is not terrible. This is a weird hand if I would keep it. I'm going to try, but this is a suboptimal hand for sure. Let's get out a uh, territory here. Named Vampire. And I'm going to get out a Conquistador. Black mana. Ooh, black mana. All right, let's see. Vampire's out in the sunlight, some of the cards. I don't know. I guess, uh, you know, they can deal with the sun. Either that or they have their hats, you know. Canyon Slough. Let's 
Galaxy Mimic. Not bad. Let's get out of Mimic here. This isn't the same person we were playing earlier, was it? Let's get in for a two here. Oh. Tearing with that Black Betty <laughs> reference. You're welcome, Josh. You're welcome. Woo, Black Mana. Bam, bam, bam. All right, let's see. <laughs> All right. Pass. All of a sudden, white vampires can go out in the sun. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Miss Drana? Me too, Clint. It would be really good in this set. What are you naming? Pirate. Oh, Rakdos Pirates. Okay. I'm okay with that. Things are happening. Let's see. We can get out the Vanguard here, or we can get out the Mimic. I like getting out a second Mimic because that's stupid. Let's name uh, Vampire. I'm just going to tack out with the 1 2 here. He's going to lose one life from that. He's not going to block, though. Yeah, that's fine. Could have got him for an additional 2 there, but. Next turn, I would really like some mana to make a 4 4 <laughs> Marvin Vane. Taryn is not making me so sad. What'd you say, nerd? Wear my golden glasses now. Let's raise some magic. <laughs> nice. Carries that. Three mimics on the field. About to get spicy. Ainsley. Oh, man. Let's see. Ooh, nice. Okay. Let's get out uh, Maverin Vane. Make him a 4-4, unless he has a Fatal Push for a Mimic. He does not. Oh, Doctor. Yeah, we're going to hold up here. Very nice. Ixlon's Binding will likely uh, take the Mimic here if we draw into a mana. If we do not, we'll just play at the Vanguard. Let's see, six cards in hand. Don't make fun of Mimics. They've had enough time figuring out where they fit in. Aww. Let's see. Cut for the Fane, perhaps. Wow, he cut the Mimic, not the Fane. Interesting. Interesting choice there. I'm assuming no attacks, yeah. Let's get out a Vanguard. Okay. He can double block here, do two damage, then trade. Not a fan of that. Let's get out with a 1 2. I do make a 1 with lifelink here. Do that. Yield. A yield. We make a two two thanks to the mimic here. Yeah, we could have made it three three though. Taryn hates mimics. Mimics on the deck. <laughs> mimics not stupid. Oh man. Let's see. Wanted Scoundrels. Can I kill you, please? Because I really need you to die so I can get some more mana. Assuming he's going to do nothing this turn. All right. Nice. Nice. -y. We could go with Sanctum Seeker or we could go with Ixalan's Binding. Making a 4-5 makes the Scoundrel not be able to attack. Let's see. 
We'd like to top Fatal Push for the Scavenger. That'd be nice. I feel like Ixalan's Binding can grab the Mimic or the Skyship here. Hi there. What's up, Malu? Bind the Scoundrels. It's only when it dies, though. 5-4 isn't that big of a deal. I think the Sanctum Seeker is actually the better pull here, the better play here. Because we make a 4-5 that can actually trade with the Scoundrel. We're attacking out with a 4-2 that can be indestructible. I think that's fair. And we're making another 2-2 with lifelink. So going this wide <clears throat> is going to be really difficult for him to uh, bounce back. But thanks for the, to the uh, Sanctum Sneaker, we can be aggressive with our swings. Exactly, Clint. We can be aggressive with our swings. We're going to make this indestructible. Do you have a push, maybe? Or did you just not realize? Wow, okay. No problem. No problem, buddy. Would have thought he would have had a fatal push for either the Vanguard or the Sanctum Seeker that turn for that weird block. Okay, fine. <laughs> he was looking for mana. Let's see. Settle the Wreckage is not bad. Contempt is not bad. We could try for Contempt. He may have a Hazaret. Let's take out some Walk the Planks. Actually, keep Walk the Planks in. Take out some Bindings. Let's see. Authority is actually going to be pretty good for us in this situation. Most of the Rakdos Pirates decks are pretty fast. So let's take out a Sanctum Sneaker and hit Submit. Fumigate would have been a good pick there as well. I just think um, our creatures are better types and we have more removal. So I think we'll be okay. Let's see. Opening hand... Four mana, two mimics, and a vanguard. Not bad. We'll keep this. And we're on the draw. He mulligan to six. He's keeping. Watch out for hostage taker for sure. That's all we have walked the plank. So we'll see what happens. Another tickler triumph. Gosh. Oh, wow. We just hit uh, 100 watching. What's up, guys? If you're new to the stream, I stream Monday through Friday, 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Normally, I didn't yesterday because I had a meeting, but um, yeah. And we on Fridays we do uh, you know fan Fridays. So if you want to submit a fan deck that I can run on stream, you can always send it to Superhero Tama, which is my name up there at gmail.com. So let's see, we're gonna pass. Mm -hmm. See what our opponent's going to do this turn. He kept a one mana hand? Huh. Well, that's good for us, right? Let's get out the Mimic first. Let's be aggressive. Really hope you like your, the, your fan deck? Yeah, for sure. I usually try and give feedback as much as I can. Yeah, Spyglass can't really do anything. 230 more subs for 6k. Pretty good, guys. Nice. Shock? Nah. Lame. Let me play my cards, man. I don't I don't like it when you kill my stuff. All right, let's get out an unclaimed territory here. Name Vindpayur. Then we're going to get out a Metallic Mimic and a Conquistador. All right, guys. Come on. Vampire. And let's play out the Conquistador while he's tapped out on his one mana. Very nice. Make a 2-3. They can attack for 3. And we're going to pass. 
Yeah, we're getting close to 6K, guys. It's awesome. I appreciate you. Unclaimed territory. Naming pirate. Mimic. His own mimic coming down. That means free attacks for us next turn. <laughs> oh, they just they just keep coming. Uh, vampire. Let's name... Or not name. Let's get out another mimic and name vampire. Can you do a Peter family? <laughs> uh, Lord, holy crap. Uh, let's see. Adanto Vanguard or Aetherborn. I think the Vanguard is probably the better play here. If we get a... Uh, Sweltering Suns the next turn, or a Fiery Candidate. Let's get in 4-4, four, four, or 5, technically. Nice. Bitter since 3.5k, I think. Nice. I appreciate you guys. Wow, okay, going to trade. No problem. Didn't think you wanted to do that. Try making your Revelin Riches deck failed miserably. <laughs> it's hard to do. Oh, cut. Okay, to that mi that mimic, no problem. We'll still get out for f uh, seven next turn. Eight. I don't know. Damage. We're doing lots of damage. And I'm playing stuff before we attack, but he's tapped out, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> he just couldn't combat that. All right, so we're one and one in our matches. Been watching since about 2000, only chatting this last month. Nice, Tyler. Chatting isn't that hard, you know. Just, uh, you comment, man. You say what's up. I try to make a community that, you know, you guys want to, like, talk to people with. In. Within. What? That word's hard. They're hard. Uh, this is a keepable hand. We'll keep this. Okay. Opponent goes first. We're on the play, or on the draw. Blah, blah. Words are hard today. Get out a swamp and uh, hold up a fatal push. Pass. And I'm here to ruin the community. <laughs> exactly, Elliot. That's what you're here for. No, I'm just kidding. Gonna send the rebel deck to you. Make it work. <laughs> Thanks, Will. I appreciate. It. I, I appreciate it. Oh, Fathom Fleet. Nice. Oh, this is Sweet Keys again. That's funny. We got paired again. This is the same pirate deck. You make my lunch break fun, Taryn. Appreciate it, Halsey. Uh, let's get out an unclaimed territory named Vampire. I don't think he realizes we're, we're the same person. He does, He will now. I work for a conglomerate of smaller MPG bots. Oh man! Before this last month, of working out, watch while watching. Hard to type in phone and lift. Nice, Tyler. I need to get into the gym myself. There's a lightning strike. Let's see. We'd like to not draw a man in this next turn. Ugh! Come on, deck. Give me something besides mana. Vampire's fine. We'll get out of Aetherborn. Could have held up that swamp there for a fatal push, but for some reason I did not want to do that. The mimic is Terran's signature move. <laughs> it's like my special beam cannon. Keep up the stream, love it. I appreciate it, guys. Let's see. Ah, oh, he's gonna take the push. Was forced into gym. <laughs> Want to do a Revelin Riches in black and white. Fumigate, Bonte's Last Reckoning, Cataclysm of Gearhulk, Restoration Specialist, Hand Disruption. So, Josh, I like that build, and I actually had that build for a while, but the reason I didn't put Cataclysm and Gearhulk is because it gets rid of all the tokens. So, you basically can't use it for that. Let's get in for a 2-3. Death Touch. Because it's Artifact, right? I believe...
Noxious Gear Hulk. That card's great. From my experience of brewing around Revel, uh, I can't really stand a win con alone. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> yeah, Josh. I, I had a like. I was thinking about that build. It's like, and I was like, oh, it'd be really cool to have Cataclysmic, but like Noxious is just better because it just straight up kills something and gives you life back, which is what you desperately need in that deck. Um, Cataclysmic makes it like basically you starting at one again on your Revel. He's going to get in for one here. I don't mind him attacking out, actually. Would like to um, kill whatever his second play is. Okay, well, fine. We're just going to kill it anyway. No big deal. Yeah, it's fine. Thank you for giving that back. Free spell. And shocking or doing something with the ram and bread? No. No. Back in nice production. The card makes Revel a little bit better, uh, but it does make your deck a lot slower. So, I think the... I want to say the... I don't want to pull it up in front of in front of you guys, the cyborg, because uh, that, that is a video I want to cover. But the oh, it's a it's a Grixis build. That's right. I, I built a Grixis uh, Revelin Revelin Riches deck uh, with Amulet, so it makes your uh, removal spells cheaper, and it makes your uh, like casting as far as removal spells like double if you get into like the four counter. Let's see. Like this is the same pirate deck, so I'm not really too worried. Let's give Rask in, take a Seeker out. Ooh, excuse me. And another... Actually, let's take the Bindings out. Put in a Fema Gaze. That's fair. Would you add any Planeswalkers to this deck? Uh, if there was a Soren in Standard, I would add it to it. <laughs> I think Soren Grim Nemesis would have been really good in this deck. Uh, this is keepable. We'll keep it. We're on the draw as well. But for now, with the Planeswalkers in the uh, standard format, um, I'm not too hot on any of them. Let's get out of Conquistador. I just feel like they're a little slow. I think maybe Gideon might be fine. Soren and Loris chilling in a rock. Yeah, no, that's sad. I, Soren is like one of my favorite planeswalkers too. I, I don't know why they were just like, you know what? We're just gonna put him in a rock for a while. I'm like, ugh, come on, guys. He was a fun character. Oh, miss your story, Tyler. You made this year better. I appreciate it, Tyler. Got injured working back in February. One to physical therapy, then worked hardening program, aka gym. It's been a rough year, but. Maybe in a month. <laughs> nice. Pushing for a turn if it's a boy. What? What? Don't name my name. He'll be ridiculed forever. <laughs> People always call you Terry or Terrence. It's terrible. <laughs> you see what I did there? Terrible. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's awesome, though, man. I appreciate you. Inspiring statuary in a Revel and Riches deck so you can tap the treasure for mana without losing them. Yeah, I think that's probably the best way you could do that, Josh. A blue-black improvise build would be amazing. Rigging Runner, not bad. Although he did not attack out with that, so he just kind of played it, which is weird. Let's get out of Deadlands here. I like a Conquistador and an Aetherborn. That kind of holds off an attack. And makes a 3-4. Terrence is my first name, man. That's why I like watching it. <laughs> nice. Oh, man. Well, see, like, they, they, they call you your name, you know? Like, I want to be, be called my name, but I can't because people think I'm, like, your name. Which is, again, it's fine. It's just, you know, when you get, like, coffee at Starbucks and they're like, Terrence, and you're like... They mean me, but I didn't give them that. Like, they'll look at my name, and it's like T-E-R-R-A-N, and they're like, oh, okay, Terrence, right? And I'm like, no. Do you see a Z-E? What? Sorry, I have, I have some built-up, like, pent-up rage about it. <laughs> it's just so weird. 
All right, let's see. Key to the city is not bad here. Let's get a scavenger grounds and do. Eh, I like keeping the pressure. Let's do the blood letter. Work at a bank. That's where every old person calls me Terry. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what it, what what it is. Like, do you say they're like, "What's up? My name's Terrence," and they're like, "Oh, what's up, Terry?" I'm like, "That is not what I said." Why why do people not know like words when they speak them? I was given five names at birth, so I definitely feel your pain. <laughs> Wait, are you actually named Taryn? I thought that's a Starcraft reference. No, Joey, that's actually my real name. Understood they misspelled your name my name all the time. I'm in the Bible for crying out loud. <laughs> oh man. Is that Jonathan with an I or an A? Oh man. We can or dies, we gain some life. All right, let's see what we can do here. Opponent's still being mana screwed. Seems like another scoop, yep. Well, we just 2 would that guy in two different matches. Let's see if we can hold up for a minute, host a match ourselves, and not get the same guy. That would be nice. <clears throat> uh, stretching. This will be our last match for the day. But it was off vampires, man. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Should make a Facebook group. I talked about that um, with the the people that work at the MTGO Traders. So we could probably do that in the future. Yeah, the Aether Warden vamp is so good. Stupid good. Tickler's Brewers. I'm not. <laughs> Joey, I'm not gonna name it that. Sorry, sorry guys. Not not gonna name it Tickler's Brewers. That's that's a little weird. A little awkward. And uh, it would probably get us banned from uh, from Facebook. Let's hit start game. Samurai Kinzo, 1981. Nice. I like that name. Play first? Yes. Opening hand is not bad. Although Bishop of the Bloodstain being our opening hand is not great. But we do have a turn one, two, and three. So let's keep this. Just see what kind of deck we're playing up against. Maybe a control deck since we haven't played against one all day. Which is a miracle. Plan first, get out the courtyard and get out a conquistador. And pass. Terran Stickling Team is my playground playgroup's name. <laughs> uh, please no. Tap land. Very good. So this might be the blue-black control deck. Let's see. We have a swamp here. Let's get out a mimic to try and get underneath some stuff. Name vampire and get in for two. Very nice. Opponent going to eight cards in hand. Going to hit six here. Probably Fatal Push to the Mimic here. That might be the play. Or he might just keep up Lana. Lana? Lana? Mana. Someday when I have more time, we'll start doing some competitive magic and I'll get Terrence Tickler shirts. <laughs> Again. Why? Oh, wow. This is the Favorable Wins. Is this the build that um, Saffron Olive did? Let's see. Maverick Fane here is going to be amazing. And we're just going to attack out with both creatures. Making a 2-2 lifelinker. And he's losing 4 life. Yeah. I love this deck. <laughs> oh, man. If anyone atten else attends the same events, we can wear the matching shirts. <laughs> I don't know about ticklers. We can just do something that's like more just, just MTGO traders. I think that's fine. Let's see. Arsonist, he's just making a 2-3 flyer. We're going to play out the uh, key of the city here. Let's get rid of uh, Bishop of the Bloodstained. I think that's fair to do. Let's get in for, uh, let's see. This, discard. Okay. And attack out this way. Trade here, maybe? 
<laughs> I'd order a Terran Stickler MTGO shirt. Oh my gosh. Key Bishop. <clears throat> Key Bishop would have been a, a pretty good uh, like win condition. But I like how our situation is going right now. So I don't think this deck would have Bantu's Last Reckoning either. Four cards. Maybe a removal spell for Maverick Fane. Freebooter. Can't take the blood letter. <clears throat> Excuse me. So do we have it next turn? Let's see. Two blockers. Two, four, six, seven. No, not not next turn, but very free, very soon. Let's see. We're going to uh, to key the city. Yield to that. Yes. Aetherborn and Ixlan's Binding. Very nice. Let's get out the Aetherborn here. Would you consider playing Feast and make a 3-1-1 one, one lifelink? Hmm. Counter here. Dispersal. Not bad. Let's get in for two, four, three. I think that's fine. That's pretty fair. <clears throat> he can block the two lifelingers and get three through. We just made a two, two that way though. I could have made this guy unblockable as well, but I, I like both of the cards we have in our hand. Yeah, he's just gonna block that way. No problem. Taking him down to uh, six. And the letters we need to put sponsored by Fresca, but not really. <laughs> oh my gosh. Had to fake going to the toilet so I can sneak and catch a better stream. <laughs> Thanks, Greg. <laughs> Had to watch even a bit because of uh, nice. Oh, sideboard. Okay. We won that match. Let's see. Uh... Authority is actually nice in this situation. Fragmentize would be okay. Let's take one Fragmentize, one Authority. Let's get out the bindings. They're a little too slow. Hmm. Let's try for a Settle the Wreckage as well. And take out one Sanctum Seeker. Actually, not a Sanctum Seeker. Let's take out a uh, Bishop. I think that's better. Let's do that. Been toying with Stockpile Vampire slash Shervo deck. Nice. I mean, the uh, Hidden Stockpile is a very good card, and that, that deck type is very nice. I wonder if Abzon Amulet deck is feasible with Anointed Procession, Vampire Token decks, Servo Schematic. Um, maybe you're, the curve would be like the hardest thing to match with Elliot, or with not Elliot, with Abzan. Um, just to figure out how that would go. What's up, Magic? Uh, we have won two out of the three matches we've played so far. The first one we lost 1-2, then the second one was 2-0, uh, and I think the third one was 2-0. And then this is round four, or match four. I think, actually, match two was 2-1. I want to say it went a little bit long. Either way, we're two up. <laughs> it's hard, man. Numbers are hard. I need to probably do that on my stream, though. Have, like, a little counter on the, uh, the, the little UI I have laid out. see we're not we're on the uh, draw this turn yeah the curve is poop but you can run a lot of removal that's true elliot it's just uh i mean removal is great but we, i mean you, you need like a, the win condition so i mean that's that's why i think i, I kind of settled on grixis amulet for um like a rebel deck rebel and vicious deck all right uh opening hand Let's see, a Danto Vanguard, Gift of Aether Born, and a Settle. This is fine. We'd like to have a Mimic in the hand instead of a Settle, but this is fine. If near Deadlands, Concealed Courtyard. Now we have enough for Settle. Let's get out the uh, Conquistador here. 
The wind gun is crap ton of tokens. That's true. That's true. All right. Blue holding up for a counter here, I assume. Nope. Favorable wins. Okay. Vana, very nice. Let's get out a concealed courtyard here and get out a gifted Aetherborn. And then attack for two. See you later, Halsey. Oh my god, now I can type well. Nice, Tyler. I appreciate it, man. All right, let's see. I thought to a Vanguard is probably the next play for us. If we get into another mana, we'd love to play out Vana. This is the first time we've drawn it. Vana is an amazing card. <clears throat> and a really good uh, pick for the Godfrey's gift decks. Going to grab Settle the Wreckage here. But he's going to see the other creatures we have. Nice. Yeah, we're just going to attack out with the 2 3. Let's play out a uh, planes and a Vanguard. Yeah, this this guy is crazy. Anyone have X maids now or how to get it? We really want to be testing somewhere that is cheaper than printing tons of proxies. <laughs> I tried X page for like a couple days. Uh, do that like you think MTGO's UI is bad? That like is impossibly difficult to understand. He just sent me a message. My opponent said he keeps getting flooded. That sucks. Sorry. Getting flooded is the worst. I think getting starved is wor is more unlikely, or not unlikely, but worse for me. But getting flooded is definitely, because we're getting flooded a little bit right, right now, but we're actually doing pretty good. We're going to get out for uh, three and two. It's terrible, but playable. <laughs> Call to the Feast with Noir's Procession and Lamulet Flipped, 12 Vampires. Ugh. That sends shivers down my spine, Elliot. That's crazy. He's down to 10. Opponent just said something again. He likes my deck. Nice. And now, alas, I have to go. I'll oh, see you later, Craig. I appreciate it. You Sahili Rai, my Revel deck? Oh, that's actually pretty decent. More cards in hand. Still nothing. We definitely can play at Vona next turn, so. We're about to do some major damage. Major damage? See planes. Very nice. Is there a counter for us? Yeah. Let's get in for uh, five again. Bounce. For you to play a deck, do we need to send the full deck list to you, or do we send almost finished ones to see what you can do? I like uh, when you guys send me full deck lists, and then I can kind of uh, tweak it from there. <clears throat> Unsummon on uh, the Aetherborn. Okay. How do you think Lifecrafters Bestiary would have done in that Merfolk deck? Phoenix, I actually had that in the deck originally. Like I had it in testing a lot, and um, I just kind of eventually like got away from it because a lot of the other cards were like a lot of the other merfolks were blue so it would, it would only work if i had green on the field at all times so it happened like i would say about 60 percent of the time whenever i was testing um but sometimes it was just a dead card in the middle of a match when i didn't need it to be a dead card so beast cherry is kind of like that though it's it's one of those cards where if you're in a tribe deck it probably would be good uh, if you're running like 26 27 creatures but uh 
I found a lot of like use for it whenever I played the cat to the cat token deck instead of the merfolk deck. But I do like that card a ton. I think it's really good. Yeah, Grixis Amulet. Yeah. Charter Course. I think uh, Alex, I can't remember his name. He ran it in Star City Games last weekend. 60% <laughs> of the time, it works every time. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Dream Caller, okay. Uh, sure. He's at seven. We play out if near Deadlands. Hmm. Sanctum Seeker is actually pretty good here. Let's get out Sanctum Seeker. We could have also played out the Aetherborn as well. I just. Actually, no, we couldn't have. We needed two black mana. Let's see. Attack out this way. Two triggers from the Seeker and one trigger from Conquistador. Why main phasing the Dreamcaller? Bad play by opponent. Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, It should have been on my turn. That's why I was kind of confused a second ago. Amulet Mill. I mean, that's... Elliot, you're, you're spoiling my deck. Don't... Shh. That's next week, man. Just be quiet. Just keep it on the down low. Yeah, that's it. Play lobby. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> it's a fine deck. Uh, Elliot, I, like I have a list though that's mono blue mill with amulet in it. It's it's crazy good. I milled a guy in one turn. I think I had it was the the amulet was it was I think it was like turn five or six. No, it was I think it was turn six or something like that. And he, I was playing against a Nazarius uh, approach deck, and he approached. He tapped out completely, and then I flipped amulet and then like milled him for like fifty. It was stupid. Too late, Terry. I blame Elliot and Joey on this one. Oh, that's fine. You're fine. The deck list is coming out next week, so it's not a big deal. <laughs> but that'll do it for today, guys. I appreciate it. Like the video if you liked it, of course, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And hit the little bell uh, right beside subscribe so you know when we upload a video and when we go live on stream. I appreciate it, you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Fan Friday. Uh, as always, if you want to send me a fan deck, you can always send it to Superhero Tama, which is my name right above me, at gmail.com. I'll look it over, maybe tweak it a little bit, uh, and then I'll run it on stream. So it's been fun. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys later.